the plight of the divine avictaric master. The 46 divine statements of his divine presence, Avatar Adida Samraj, from the Elatheon, Volume 1. Beloved, this is my heart secret. I am Da, the one and only and self-evidently divine source and person, who is the one and only and intrinsically egoless and boundlessly bright heart of all and all, and who is the one and only giver of divine self-realization to all and all. I am divinely avatarically born to hear, as the divine avataric self-incarnation of reality itself, here born as the divine avataric world teacher, Adidas Samraj, humanly born as my own divine self-brightness and as the totality of my own divine bliss and as my own divine heart of love and as an avataric ordeal of divine self-submission to all and all, so that everyone will hear and see the heart and way of me. In order to awaken all and all to me, and in me and as me, it was necessary that I, by even every avataric means of divine descent, freely assume wholly understand and most perfectly transcend all the conditional states of existence. And in order to do that, it was necessary that I, by means of an avataric human incarnation, freely assume, wholly understand and most perfectly transcend all the conditions of even human existence. Now that my avataric ordeal of divine descent to everywhere and to everyone is most perfectly complete, I am avatarically forever divinely self-emerging here, now and forever hereafter, self-revealed and self-revealing in and as and by my avatarically born bodily human and self-evidently divine bright form and as and by my thus and thereby avatarically self-transmitted bright and self-evidently divine transcendental spiritual presence, and ultimately as my thus and thereby avatarically self-revealed state, or intrinsically egoless and boundlessly bright and self-evidently divine heart itself, so that by means of the directly me-revealing bright transcendental spiritual power of my thus avatarically self-revealed divine form and presence and state, every ego eye or seeming separate heart will devotionally recognize me and in devotional response to my thus avatarically self-revealed divine form and presence and state, forget self-contraction of separate and always separate of ego I in me and ultimately by realizing me most perfectly awaken into the centerless and boundless sphere and infinite egoless space of my eternal bright divine self domain. I am divinely avatarically born to hear as the one and only man of radical understanding. Now and forever hereafter, here to awaken every life-born heart to perfect knowledge, only by a causally self-awakening every seeming separate heart to the intrinsically egoless heart of me. My avatarically self-revealed and always me-revealing divine teaching word of universal heart instruction it is irrefutable if the seeming separate heart truly listens to me 
devotedly recognizes me, whole bodily responds to me, and constantly invokes me by name. My avatarically self-revealed and most perfectly me-revealing divine heart word of all and all awakening divine self-confession is self-evident as truth. If the otherwise seeming separate heart looks to me with searchlessly me-beholding open eyes. I am the one and only and self-existing and immortal and eternal and non-separate and indivisible and complete and whole and self-radiant and intrinsically egoless and inherently perfect and intrinsically indivisible and self-evidently divine transcendental spiritual conscious light itself, eternally full of unconditional love, infinite bliss and boundless energy, and I am now and forever hereafter, divinely avatarically and always brightly self-revealed to everywhere and to all and to all. My avatarically born bodily human divine form and my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual presence and my avatarically self-revealed divine state is all three together and all three as one, the way and the only way to realise me. My avatarically born bodily human divine form is the divine avataric incarnation of my intrinsically egoless and inherently transcendentally spiritually self-bright divine self-consciousness and my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual presence is my all in all surrounding and all in all pervading bright divine body of transcendental spiritual blessing power and my avatarically self-revealed divine state is the divinely self-radiant sphere and boundless space of infinite egoless, eternal love bliss brightness that is the one and only substance, place and identity of all and all. When the seeming separate heart of my devotee is beyond all psychophysical self-contraction, egolessly conformed to my avatarically born bodily human divine form and my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual presence and my avatarically self-revealed divine state even the whole body of my true devotee is by means of my avatarically given divine transcendental spiritual grace made brightly full of me. In order that my true devotee may realize me, O oh bodily beyond egoity, I call the heart to listen to the recitation of my divine avataric word and leelas, and to behold the self-evidently divine person of my avatarically born bodily human divine form, and to whole bodily feel the self-transmitted transcendental spiritual blessing power of my avatarically self-revealed divine transcendental spiritual presence and thus by listening to me and by beholding me and by feeling me to know me and to be brightly infilled by me. In order that the seeming separate heart of my true devotee may be egolessly conformed to my intrinsically egoless divine heart I call the heart of my true devotee to whole bodily locate my avatarically self-transmitted divine presence of transcendental spiritual blessing power that brightly self-reveals my divine state to every to me devoted heart. In order that my true devotee may whole bodily locate my avatarically self-transmitted divine presence of transcendental spiritual blessing power, I call the heart to conduct my avatarically self-transmitted and all in all surrounding and all in all pervading divine transcendental spiritual presence 
into and throughout the orbit that circles the whole and total body of the to me devoted heart. If my true devotee will do this, the whole body will, by means of my avatarically given divine transcendental spiritual grace, awaken to the intrinsically egoless and self-evidently divine state of my avatarically self-revealed person, and I will thus and thereby receive my true devotee into the infinitely bright, egoless sphere and boundless space of my eternal divine self-domain. Now and forever hereafter, I am by all my divine avataric means, divinely descended to hear, forever to show every seeming separate heart the divine avataric and whole bodily way of me, which is the seventh stage way, intrinsically transcending the ego I itself, and intrinsically transcending all six of the ego-based stages of life that merely seek the seventh stage self-realization of reality itself. By transcending self-contraction, in and by means of the whole bodily devotional recognition response to me, the seeming separate heart must always priorly and immediately transcend the first six stages of life, and the only by me revealed and given seventh stage must be perfected in my divine heart itself. The divine avataric way of me is one and straight away, not two and roundabout because my divine heart is always at the heart's own root and not in the goals it seeks. Because my avatar is self-revealed and always me revealing divine word of universal heart instruction and of all in all awakening divine self-confession is now and forever hereafter always by me spoken from my divine heart directly to every to me devotional heart, where every true devotee should constantly listen to my avatarically self-revealed divine word with the heart and whole bodily. Because my avatarically born and always me revealing bodily human divine form and my thus and thereby avatarically self-transmitted and always me revealing divine transcendental spiritual presence are now and forever hereafter always by me revealed and by me given from my divine heart directly to every to me devoted heart my every true devotee should always searchlessly behold me avatarically behold my avatarically born bodily human divine form and my thus and thereby avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual presence, whole bodily and thus and thereby, with all of heart. Because my intrinsically egoless and boundlessly bright divine heart is always at the root of every to me devoted heart, but always already standing beyond the limits of the seeming separateness of ego I, my every true devotee should now and forever hereafter always practice or perpetually exercise and constantly enlarge the intrinsically egoless heart wound of devotionally me recognizing and devotionally to me responding whole bodily participatory communion with my avatarically born bodily human divine form and my thus and thereby avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual presence and thus and thereby realize me by transcending the seeming separate heart in my egoless, loveless, bright and boundless divine heart. By means of devotional recognition of me, my true devotee should become a constant dancing prayer of responsibly ego-transcending devotional and transcendental spiritual whole bodily participatory communion with me. By means of constant and truly responsive, devotional and transcendental spiritual whole bodily participatory communion with me, my true devotee should always 
spontaneously observe and truly heart understand and altogether freely release me forgetting bodily, emotional breath controlling and mental self-contraction of the seeming separate heart. By whole bodily devotionally listening to my avatarically self-revealed divine word of universal heart instruction and of divine heart confession with the to me devoted heart and by whole bodily devotionally responding to my avatarically self-revealed divine word of universal heart instruction and of divine self-confession in the to me devoted heart and by whole bodily devotionally beholding my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine form and presence and state with all the to me devoted heart my true devotee will be purified of me forgetting self-contraction of body, emotion, breath and mind. My true devotee must become entirely heart conformed to me by practicing the divine priesthood of devotional and transcendental spiritual whole bodily participatory communion with my avatarically self-revealed person. My true devotee must always keep the to me devoted heart away from eagle eye and away to my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine form and presence and state of intrinsically egoless self-bright love bliss. With all the devotionally me recognizing and devotionally to me responding heart and with the whole body of entirely to me attracted and entirely to me given attention and of deepest only by me revealed feeling emotion and of always to me sensitized and fully me full breath and of really me perceiving and only by me filled senses my true devotee must constantly searchlessly behold me. My true devotee must constantly practice the whole bodily heart sacrament that is intrinsically and whole bodily actively ego surrendering, ego forgetting and ego transcending devotional participatory communion with me, always beyond and surrounding and pervading the searchlessly me beholding body mind. I will always now and forever hereafter self reveal my self evidently divine person to my true devotee by all my divine avataric means. Because I am always now and forever hereafter avatarically self revealing my form and presence and state of self evidently divine person to the to me devoted heart, my true devotee must always now and forever hereafter heart release the separate and separative body mind self into my avatarically self revealed form and presence and state of self evidently divine person. If my true devotee is to find me and locate me and realize me, my true devotee must always cultivate my divine avataric and always me revealing heart response by means of always whole bodily expressed devotion to my avatarically self revealed and self evidently divine person and in order to rightly and fully and truly whole bodily conduct the love bliss bright and always me revealing divine transcendental spiritual power of my divine avataric heart response. My true devotee must always serve my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine person with the whole body's every breath and act. If my true devotee is to find me and locate me and realize me, my true devotee must always with all the to me devoted heart and always whole bodily invoke my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine total person by invoking my avatarically self-revealed divine form and presence and state of self-evidently divine person. If my true devotee is to find me and locate me and realize me, my true devotee must always freely and always devotionally give whole bodily feeling attention to my avatarically born bodily human divine form 
and my true devotee must thus and thereby always devotionally recognize me and always devotionally respond to me and always devotionally breathe me by breathing my avatarically self-transmitted and always me revealing divine transcendental spiritual presence into the always searchlessly me beholding and ego surrendering and ego forgetting and ego transcending and altogether me remembering whole body space. In the always whole bodily devotional manner, my true devotee must always locate my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual presence by all parts of body, emotion, mind and breath. By means of moment-to-moment whole bodily invocation of my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine total person and by means of always instant whole bodily devotional recognition of me in and as my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine form and presence and state and by means of constant whole bodily devotional response to me in and as my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine form and presence and state, my true devotee is filled with my love bliss bright, divine self-revelation from head to toe. As my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual infilling fills the whole body full of me from head to toe, my true devotee must always let my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spiritual love bliss brightness carry the heart whole bodily beyond the knot of separate and separative ego eye. In the swoon of devotional transcendental spiritual whole bodily participatory communion with my avatarically self-revealed and self-evidently divine total person, my true devotee is me remembering and altogether ego forgetting Ego forgetting heart will feel beyond its seeming separateness and always toward the height and the depth of my divine heart's infinite space. And the whole bodily participatory devotional communion with my avatarically self revealed and self evidently divine total person will become silently, breathlessly heart deep. And my true devotee will see the egoless self-state of my avatarically born bodily human divine form always already disappeared with all and all of things in my bright indivisibility. And my true devotee will always whole bodily feel the me bright, invisible, tangible, loveless touch of my avatarically self-transmitted and always me revealing divine transcendental spiritual presence descending from above to touch and infill all in all to round. And my true devotee will intrinsically always priorly and constantly whole bodily forget the ego I in my divine avataric embrace. At last the most perfect and altogether all in all brightening and all in all outshining divine reality truth of my avatarically self-revealed bright and self-evidently divine person of conscious light will become most perfectly and whole bodily self-evident to my true devotee. And my true devotee will, by means of the most perfect egoless whole bodily realization of me, awaken boundlessly into the indivisibly indivisibly loveless bright sphere and infinite egoless space of my eternal divine self-domain. I am absolutely certain of the most perfect divine efficacy of my now and forever hereafter divine avataric embrace of all and of all. Beloved, I am the divine avataric master and the one and only person of every whole bodily to me surrendered heart that knows me.